it is time for park number three of this trip. I did Fun Spot Atlanta, I did Six Flags over Georgia, and now I am at Carowinds, and we got Fury 325 over here. Did not expect to be riding this amazing B&M so soon, but it'll be cool to get back on it again. So I'm excited to get on this ride, see how it holds up, but also ride Intimidator, Copperhead Strike, and hopefully get some better rides on Afterburn, because Afterburn last year I thought was overrated. So it'd be cool to get on some of these rides again, and also ride Nighthawk for the first time, because that was closed last year as well. And I know it's probably not gonna be very good, because I've heard from some people that it's rough, but it'd be cool to get on, because I've never done a Vacoma Flying Dutchman before, because I've never been to King's Island when Firehawk was around, and I haven't been to Six Flags America either, so Nighthawk will be my first ever Flying Dutchman. So we got a couple hours tonight, and then all day tomorrow. So let's go in and make the most of it. I think y'all know which ride I gotta go to first. Of course it's Fury 325. I am going straight there, I'm gonna ride front row on pretty much every ride if I can, because last time I didn't get my row request accepted for the front a couple times. So I did get to ride row seven and eight, but they paled in comparison to the front row. And I'm a front row rider, so let's go take a ride on Fury up front and see how it runs. Got Hurler over here. I was actually really impressed by Hurler last time. So I'd like to get another ride on it if possible, but I haven't seen it run yet. And uh, some people coming online now, so I don't know if it's broken down, but oh my gosh, here's the entrance plaza for Fury. Oh man, last time I saw the plaza, I was so impressed. It looks so cool, and I'm glad to be back here. Uh, yeah, Fury might have a decent long line, it looks like. But oh boy, let's just see how it runs. how wild that ride is so much speed i was graying out like at least three or four times on that oh my gosh i don't know if it's because i'm dehydrated or if it really was that intense but man that ride was absolutely insane oh my gosh i forgot how good it was i'll see you in this match My second ride up front just now, I grade out from the bottom of the first drop all the way to the top of the treble clef. I've never had a grade out that long before. I mean, sheesh, absolutely insane. 
so man very awesome i might come back for one more ride before the night's over but what i am gonna do now is go ride copperhead strike i did that one twice last time i was here and i remember being really really solid so i can't wait to go try it out again and see how it is because did it once in the front once in the back last time i mean i don't usually ride back around a horse launch coaster but in this case they uh were assigning rows and i couldn't wait an extra train for the front so i got the back row which i was impressed by that and i think i don't know which i prefer honestly front or back i mean i think i might say the front just because it's a forwards launch coaster i prefer launch coasters in the front but overall i was really impressed with copyright we're gonna head over that way in just a second here got carolina cyclone over here i'm gonna ride that one tomorrow and i was actually really impressed by this ride last year as well it was a surprisingly good arrow looper and i think it's either a clone or a near clone of canyon blaster at the adventure dome and i think that would explain why i liked it so much but that's not the biggest priority after right now i would like to get on copperhead strike afterburn intimidator and maybe also nighthawk before the park closes if possible and if i don't get on nighthawk tonight i'll do that first thing tomorrow because i know that thing will build up a huge line so let's go ride copperhead strike first and then work our way over towards afterburn Sometimes. You're so impatient. 
Friends have a show. They're stuck. Like, I have pages. Look at here. Oh, my brother's house your ride. Side. He walked through those gates, walked through. Just did conference strike in the front row, and that was way better than either of my two rides last year. And I deem this as a front row right now. I said I was in the middle about it, but now I'm definitely leaning towards being a front row ride. Now I could try the back row right now for good measure, but it's a Ford's launch coaster, and since no one really assigning rows right now, I am exclusively a front row rider for Ford's launch coasters. And the only time I would not ride the front row is if my row request gets denied. So. I'm gonna ride this in the front row one more time, then go ride Afterburn, then try Nighthawk, and Intimidator is down for the night, because as I was coming into care once, I saw that it got stuck in the mid course and they had an evac, so it's probably down for the night, so I'm gonna ride this one more time, then go ride Afterburn, and then go to Nighthawk. And if time allows, I'm gonna ride Fury one more time. We're gonna buckle the seatbelt for and Android, the two launches here on the top of the I did not ride. One of my riders, I was going to slide on. Two and three long. Just rode cop ride for the second time and that ride is a blast. Definitely going up on my list. And I love the ride ops over at Cop Ride Strike. They're so energetic and they're talking about coasters and everything. They're enthusiasts. We got Afterburn going right there, which that is my next stop. And yeah, they were talking about like random stuff. I heard him mention uh, some of the stuff like King's Dominion and I said that Big Bear Mountain is number two at Dollywood at the Lightning Rod. And I'm not kidding when I said that. I legitimately think that. And speaking of that, I'll be heading to Dollywood in a couple days, but I'm gonna be here at Carowinds for a little while first. So I'm gonna get some shots of Afterburn from over here at some point. And now I'm actually gonna ride it. This ride was a bit of a letdown last time, so let's hope it's better today. I just missed it, but actually, uh, oh, Red to the Trees, yeah. Intimidator's actually running now. So I guess I'll be riding uh, that after I do Afterburn, and then I might try riding Nighthawk before the car closes. Otherwise, I might just do Fury. I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll see what I feel like doing, but I'm gonna give Afterburn a try and see if it can redeem itself from last year, because it was nowhere near as good as people made it out to be. So I don't know if it was just running bad or what the deal was, but it is a walk-on right now, but I, I got my first ever ride on, it was a walk-on. So I feel like it might not be as good as people say it is today, but I don't know. I still have pretty high expectations for it. People hype it up to be one of the best, if not the best band ever. So I'm intrigued to see how Ashburn runs today. And uh, I'm gonna ride front row and tell you that. Yeah, let's go ride front seat. Yeah, we're gonna go There's another one I can add to my list. I just got a Zen ride on Afterburn. It was running more intense than last year, which I appreciated, but I still think it's a mid-tier invert. And plus the corkscrew at the end caused a little bit of headbanging, but it was only like one hit, so it wasn't anything bad, really. I liked it, but yeah, I still don't know why people call it one of the best inverts. I mean, I still think it's a little overrated. And now I'm gonna go ride Intimidator, because I did see that one going, and after missing out on Goliath yesterday, which is the day after I'm recording this, I am desperate to ride a BNM Hyper, so. Even though maybe one of the weakest ones, I'm still willing to give the Intimidator multiple more tries. So let's head over there and see if we can get one, if not two more rides on this and maybe try and get on Nighthawk before the park closes.
Yeah. Intimidator was a lot better than I remembered. I think the culprit has to be with that first Camelback. In 2021, when I rode the front row, I felt that trim brake hit. And this time, I don't know if it did. I didn't feel it. So, if that's the case, that was really, really surprising. Nighthawk is apparently delayed right now, and I just found out that my brother somehow got the Wilderness Run credit. I didn't get that last time I was here, because I think it might have been too tall to ride or whatnot. He wasn't able to get it, he wasn't able to get it last year either. I'm gonna go over there and try and get on it myself, see if I can actually get this credit, so. Uh, it's worth a shot, so let's go give it a try and see if we can do it. We actually getting the credit. Front row's taking, I'm doing back row. I just got the Wilderness Run credit. I feel like a total champ right now. That was a hard to get credit, and I managed to get on it successfully. Now let's go try and get on Nighthawk, see if that's back open by now, because that was delayed when I went to go ride it last. But hey, I'm glad I got on Wilderness Run. I kind of needed that credit because I got on everything else that I could here last year besides Nighthawk, which was closed the whole time, so I wasn't able to do it. And then I would like to get one more ride on Fury if I can, but who knows how long that'll take if I can get on Nighthawk or not. <laughs> They just made the announcement saying Carowinds is closing in 15 minutes. So I gotta get on Nighthawk and maybe one more ride on Fury before the park closes if I can. Otherwise, I just wanna get on Nighthawk and uh, not have to worry about that because I'm dreading it. I just wanna get it over with. So let's go try Nighthawk. Nighthawk is still delayed. So I guess I'll finish up my night by doing one more ride on Fury and then I will road drop Nighthawk first thing tomorrow. <laughs> Just got a third ride on Fury 325 to end my day, and that was just an awesome way to end my night. Pretty much identical to the other two rides I had on earlier today, which is nothing related to me. Oh, shame that. that ride is just incredible. And final ride count, it was three on Fury 325, two on Comfort Strike and Wilderness Run, because I counted each lap a separate ride, and uh, Wilderness Run went, went around twice, and then I got one on Intimidator and Afterride. It was overall really solid couple hours, and uh, I'll be getting on a lot of the other coasts I didn't do today. Tomorrow, so I'll be doing with rides like Nighthawk, Hurler, Carolina Cyclone, and Ricochet tomorrow. So, yeah, let's jump to day two. It is now the full day here at Carowinds, and we got from 10 to 8 today. And technically, it is early entry ride by now, and I think the only rides open are a few in Aeronautica Landing, but I have no desire to do any of those because none of them are coasters, they're all flat rides. Plus, I never got on Nighthawk yesterday, so I'm first one in line for that this morning. So, now I should be able to get the front row because I don't know if they'll be assigning rows or not. And if they are, I don't want to wait an hour only to request the front have it that row request is denied. And therefore, I would have a much rougher ride experience than I probably would otherwise. So I'm going to wait until Nighthawk opens, and then from there, we'll just uh, get on it and see how this ride is. And then maybe go hop on Fury if that line isn't bad. Although, yeah, I might do Fury. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might ride Ricochet as well, honestly. That wouldn't be a bad idea to hit early. is open let's go take a ride on this coaster and see how it is because i'm intrigued to see how this rides although i've heard it's really rough by a lot of people who've ridden it and i think this ride has a cult following as of late which i don't know if i'll understand that or not but i'll find out how it actually is once i get on here in a few minutes so let's see how it is and i really need to get front row if i want the smoothest ride on this plus i tend to judge ride from the front row anyway so let's keep moving to me this is a decently long queue line for what i'm used to now it's definitely not boss length or anything, at least from what I know of. But yeah, this is pretty, uh, pretty long. Got a cool view of Vortex, which I have not seen that one run at all. But even if it was running, I don't see myself riding it because I rode it last year and I hated it so much. It was like one of the worst coasts I've ever ridden. So I have no desire to get on it again if they do open it, but I haven't seen any action going on at it. So let's take a ride on Nighthawk, see how it runs. Just rode Nighthawk and I was actually really impressed by this ride. I thought it'd be like my least favorite ride in the park. That might have been one of the best, actually. That might actually be top five after Fury, Intimidator, Ashburn, and Copyright. I was super impressed. And this vertical loop, what a, in the world was that? Oh man, that was intense. 
I would take that vertical move over a pretzel loop, honestly. That's how much I enjoyed it. Holy cow. I honestly understand why people think Nighthawk is underrated now. That was actually a really fun ride. I thought this would be worse than Vortex. Vortex is way worse than Nighthawk. That was actually a lot of fun. Now I'm gonna go ride Flying Cobras since I know that line gets along as well and I haven't done that yet. So I'm gonna make my way over there right now. Gonna do a cover strike on my way to Flying Cobras. See if I can get his own ride. Ah, break. That could be first ride of the day it looks like, but I'll be on that fairly soon at least. So let's just take a ride on this, see how it is. on Copper Strike was awesome. I actually did end up getting first friend of the day because there was someone who had a person riding by themselves in the back and they actually went to the back. So I ended up riding in the front and it was really solid. Now I'm gonna see if Afterburn in the back row is good today. I mean, granted it is just after opening, like the park opened like, I don't think even 10 minutes ago. So it might be running a little bit slow today, but it looks like it's running, eh, I think decently well, I guess, but if I'd like to try ride on this thing later on in the day. I mean, I got a Zen ride in the front row last night. So let's take a ride on Afterburn and see how it runs today. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait to see if this thing lives up some hype in the back row because my front row ride yesterday was good, but it's still not as good as people said it was. But I'm gonna try back row today and see if that's any better. I think Afterburn has just redeemed himself. I did two rides in the back row without leaving my seat, and it was absolutely insane. Honestly, I even thought it was smoother in the back, which I was surprised about. Normally the front is smoother, but Afterburn, I don't think so. But overall, that was a really solid ride. And now I'm gonna try the front row out of sheer morbid curiosity to see if this just the back row is better for today or what the deal was. But overall, Afterburn, back row, I don't think it's awesome. Looking straight. Yeah, you guys are straight. at all times. Thank you, and enjoy your flight on Afterburn. Here's the take -off. did a front run ride on afterburn and that was honestly pretty close to the back but i think the back is a little bit better still but man this ride it's definitely gone up in my list i understand why people think this is the best vienna member now i personally don't think it's the best but i think it's close to the top tier for me honestly it's really good Lightning, 
This is some fun spot, Orlando. I was trying to get some footage of Afterburn from Aeronautica Landing. That broke down. So I call over to try and get some footage of Copperhead Strike. Also broken down. And I think Flying Cobras is also closed. So that's three rides in this general area that are closed right now. And I think I'm going to go take a ride on Carolina Cyclone now since I'm heading that direction. And then I think I might check out Hurler and then take a ride on Fury. Actually, I might do Fury before I ride Hurler. I haven't decided which one I'm going to do those two. But if Carolina Cyclone is up and running, I'll do that. Actually, maybe Ricochet as well. I should probably do that while I'm passing by. So, yeah, I'll figure out what I want to do. I think I'm going to ride Cop or Cop or Strike. Carolina Cyclone first. I'll take a ride on Carolina Gold Rush since I'm right here and the uh, line doesn't look too bad and I know they're running two trains on it so that would be cool to get on this one again see how it holds up to some of the other mine trains I've run and then I still have not seen any action in Carolina Cyclone either so I don't know if that's also close but I did see Ricochet run so what I might do is ride this and then go ride Ricochet all while making my way over towards Fury 325 and Hurler <laughs> So my next ride is to my next ride is to go train is now approaching the station. Please take this time, but don't have to secure all these articles. Then it's all right. Speechless, took your breath away. Go now, buckle those seatbelts. I'm buckle those seatbelts. But please remain seated until the ride comes to a point. Now the station. To the station. Please take a time. Go ahead and secure all those articles. That hats, sunglasses, cell phones, souvenir cups, bags, bigger than the fanny pack, and the other merchandise that you don't want to lose or have damage in the process of this ride. So you guys are out of here. Make sure you sit the right, hold on tight, and enjoy your ride. Goodbye. Oh my god! Ah! 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 
Carolina Gold Rush are done. That was a decent mine train. A little janky, but nothing to really complain about. I don't think Carolina Cyclone is open yet, which if not, then that's really, really unfortunate. But maybe it'll open later on at some point. And what I'm gonna do now, I think I'm gonna skip Ricochet for now. I'll come back to it later. But yeah, I'm definitely skipping Ricochet. I'm gonna for that line to die down. So I'm gonna check out Carolina Cyclone if it just oh, not open, which I don't think it is. I'm gonna go ride Hurler and then Fury. Actually, no, I'm gonna do Fury 35, then Hurler. And then go ride Intimidator, because I want to ride backseat on Intimidator, so. Let's have this direction and uh, see what the status of each of these rides are, whether they're open or not. Carolina Cyclone, closed. Flying Cobras, closed. Hurler, closed. There are so many closed rides here today. Vortex is down, but that's been down pretty much all season, to my knowledge. So there's like hardly anything open, it feels like. I mean, Copperhead was down, Afterburn was down. Uh, ooh, I don't know what that is. It looks like a dragonfly. It looks like a wasp. Yeah, Fury, at least Fury's open, so I'm gonna do a couple rides on this. And man, I don't know why there's so many closed rides today. I mean, I don't think it's because of staffing, but if it is, then that's really unfortunate. But let's try Fury. Fury was awesome. Now I'm gonna go ride Intimidator and do that one in the back of the train because I did front yesterday. And then I'm gonna start spending a lot of my days getting footage and whatnot because I feel like I haven't shot too much. So let's uh, go take care of that. <laughs> though for today or honestly i mean i haven't ridden front today yet and i said yeah because i'm gonna go do that right now since it's pretty much a walk on so might as well go take advantage of it and take a front run right on this and see how it runs compared to the back for today because after i thought it was better in the back for today i wanted to turn it would be better up front but i'll go find out in just a few minutes but still front was awesome. Now I think I might ride the back row again because uh, there's no line. I did say I was gonna get some more rides on this Vega for Goliath being close in over Georgia a couple days ago. <laughs> gonna be outside the park for a little bit now and getting some shots of these rides and uh, I'm gonna start my way over near, near Fury and then work my way down towards Intimidator and Afterburn and then eventually work my way back here. So it'll probably take me a little bit, but let's do it.
but the Carolina Harbor Gate is available for me to use to get back into Carowinds because I don't want to have to walk all the way back to the front of the park by Fury to get in. Plus, I would be able to answer my conference strike anyway, which that's where I was going to go to get some footage next anyway. So that'd be quite convenient if I could re-enter via Carolina Harbor. But if not, it'll be a long trek back to the front. So I'm going to get some footage of Afterburn and then some, maybe some footage of Copper as well from up here and then uh, re-enter Carolina Harbor if possible. Otherwise, I'm booking to the front. The gate to get into Carolina Harbor is closed, so I gotta book it back to the front. And I wanna see if I can get to the front in no more than three minutes and 25 seconds, which I think it's doable if I book it the whole way, but it'll be tough. And I said three minutes, 25 seconds, because it appears to be 325, so. Oh, no, let's see how we do. I tried going from Carolina Harbor all the way over to the front in one go. I realized that getting there in three minutes and 25 seconds probably wouldn't be possible. So I feel like I have a better shot of reaching that goal by starting from this vantage point over near Intimidator. almost three hours outside the park getting shots and whatnot and I'm tired but I still got quite a bit more filming the view I'm actually down to my last camera battery so gotta preserve it for now I'm gonna go over and I think film a uh, copyright strike and maybe get some Carolina cyclone footage and went all the way over there but there are some coasts I definitely need more footage of like after I could use more of Nighthawk use more of but it's a lot of coasts I haven't really filmed it much and uh, I could definitely get some more footage of like Hurler if that ride's open because I don't have very much of it but I don't know if Hurler's open today honestly
going to try Carolina Cyclone now. It's like a station way right now. And I was really impressed by this ride last time, so let's see how it holds up today. Carolina Cyclone is experiencing what they call an operational delay right now. And so the, my guess is what that means is technical difficulties. So for right now, I'm going to ride Ricochet because I haven't done that one yet. And then we're going to way back towards Copperhead Strike and afterward get some more footage of those. And then uh, I guess get some footage of like uh, the kid coasters or something like that. Maybe come back to Carolina Cyclone if they open it. While riding, now sit back and... It was a lot of fun. The laterals on each of the turns were insane, and the drops were really sudden and it caught me off guard. I overall had a blast on it. I can only imagine what the thing would be like without the trims, because with the trims, it's absolutely ridiculous in terms of how many laterals there are. I would be amazed if I won't without the trims. Maybe someday, but I doubt it. And Carolina Cyclone still isn't open, and they don't know how long it's gonna be, so I'm gonna get some footage of Copperhead Strike. And I don't know if I said this or not, but I found out that both Perler and Flying Cobras are down for the day, so I will not be able to ride either of those this trip. Which that's all right, because I rode both of them in the last year, and they're not the biggest deal. Like, I would rather have those clothes than some like Fury and Intimidator, so let's get some footage of Copperhead Strike and uh, the Carolina Cyclone going. I still would like to ride that, but not sure when I'll be. Oh, speaking of the devil, Flying Cobras is open. Would you look at that? Just as I'm saying it, the ride opens. So, I guess I might as well continue riding that then. Actually, I'm not going to ride Flying Cobras. The line is a little long, and given how they had pretty slow ops last year, I assume they're pretty much the same this year. And plus, you don't really get to choose your seat, so I'll maybe get on it if it's a walk on. Otherwise, it's not the biggest deal. So. Oh, let's go back to the original game plan of getting through to this awesome monster tool on the top right track.
papers, hats, glasses, and cell phones must be stored in a pocket. get some shots of afterburn from aeronautica landing because it closed down on me i'm gonna get out of the heat for a while and take a spin on boo blasters i have not done that yet and that's shooting dark right and i'm a huge fan of shooting dark rights so i'm gonna take a spin on this and see how i do i remember this one being ridiculously hard like possibly harder than the one at king's island to be honest because that one was just brutal uh, if i remember if only one car really worked i think it was car seven so i'd like to try and get that car possible but yeah fast enough to work and i don't i don't have fast enough this also Wait that which shouldn't take too too long I don't think so this is gonna be fun oh yikes ghost fiction in progress oh boy let's just see how many we can get Cyclone is back open now. If that's true, I'm gonna finally get on this thing because I've been wanting to ride it and this thing has been causing me issues all day. So I hope it doesn't break down as soon as I get there because if that's the case, or if it's down right now, then that would be frustrating. So let's go take a ride and see how this one is. And if it's down for whatever reason, I'm just gonna go start getting footage of the other K coasters and also some more footage of Nighthawk. And then finishing off my Netted Fury. Alright, it looks like it is open for now, so let's go give it a shot. You guys are out of here, you guys are ready to make some noise.
you like being upside down? No! Let's remain seated after there has been double a complete stop. rough for an aero looper. Usually aero loopers aren't that rough, but that was not that enjoyable. I mean, this airtime moment right here still launched me like I was expecting it to, like it did last year, but the rest of the ride, it was just really janky. Like, I also thought Ninja at Six Flags St. Louis might have been a little less janky than that. Man, that ride right there might have been top two roughest rides of the trip, along with uh, Hurricane at Fun Spot Atlanta. That was uh, also rough. I think that might have been a little bit rougher than this, but ugh. Carolina Cyclone's not running great today. I don't know if that was the train I got or if it was just having a bad day, but whatever it was, Carolina Cyclone is not running good today, and that's gonna probably drop my list. I have decided that I'm gonna try and ride Fury the rest of the night. It's showing a 20 minute wait, and we got about an hour still until the car closes, so I might be able to get three rides in on it, and uh, I'm worried that I might not be able to get the front seat on any of them, because uh, there's a group out there, and they're probably not gonna accept our requests, unfortunately, and for me, front row or bus is how I do Fury, so. I'm gonna have to try and see if I can get front row. If anything, I might let people go ahead of me. I did back row last year. It's nowhere near as good as the front, in my opinion. Like, for me, it's speed over air time any day of the week. And that's why I'm exclusively front row ready for Ford's launch coasters and also speed machines like Fury. So, let's just see if we can get front row on each of our rides. But I highly doubt that's gonna work. But it's worth a shot. ride on Fury was just nuts. So fast, so much air time, it was awesome. Really intense too. And I'm gonna do one last ride to finish off my trip here, and uh, that'll be it for Carolines. One final ride on Fury to end my time here at Carowinds. Obviously it was front row, as that's pretty much the only way to do it for me. And the uh, best way I can describe this ride is Sonic the Hedgehog in real life. Like, you feel like you're absolutely running like Sonic through Green Hill Zone or whatever that is. And, uh, man, that is just nuts. The course of my entire time here at Carolines, I think my right count was six on Fury, uh, four on Intimidator and Afterburn, three on Copperhead, two on Wilderness Run, and then one on Boo Blasters, and then every other coaster with the exception of Hurler, Flying Cobras, Kitty Hawk, Vortex, Woodstock Express. Overall, it was really awesome to get back to this park, and uh, those were some awesome pilots, like getting back on the masterpiece that is Fury 325 was always great. Afterburn was really impressive. Nighthawk was probably the biggest surprise of the whole park, because I was not expecting it to be top five in the park, but it was. Hurler wasn't open, unfortunately, for the day I was here for today. At least it was open last night, but I didn't feel like riding it last night, and I didn't think it'd be done today. But overall, I mean, I had a blast here at Carowinds. And uh, for my next vlog, even though I was just there, I'm going to Dollywood on this trip. And that's where my next vlog will be. Before you click off this video, please make sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. And be sure to comment about what you enjoyed about this video. Be sure to share it with someone else you may know. If you're new to this channel, like what you saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. My goal is to hit 500 subscribers by the end of summer. So I appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take when I visit the parks. Be sure to check me out there as well via the link in the description. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you later. Thank you.